It's only been a few months since Amazon released the second-gen Echo Show, but it has already introduced a brand new model called the Echo Show 5. That's a little strange on a couple levels. One, what's with the name? And two, why so soon? Well, even though this is technically the third Echo Show, the 5 in the name refers to the screen size. That's a little weird, but since that's how Amazon names its Fire tablets, I'll let it slide. The other answer is that the Echo Show 5 isn't meant to replace its larger cousin. While the big Echo Show is designed for more communal places like the kitchen, the smaller version is designed for more personal spaces like a desk or nightstand. The Echo Show 5 is essentially Amazon's answer to the Google Nest Hub. The 2018 Echo Show and the Echo Show 5 look very similar to each other, except of course, one is a lot smaller. The shorter stature of the Echo Show 5 makes it look a lot more like an alarm clock. It turns out that's no accident, as it also has lots of clock-centric features that are not on the larger Echo Show. It comes with several clock faces, and you can smack the top of it to snooze the alarm. The Echo Show 5 has an ambient light sensor that automatically adjusts the screen's brightness according to its surroundings. It also has a sunrise feature, where the display slowly brightens 15 minutes prior to the alarm to simulate daylight's arrival. However, the sunrise alarm only works when you set it between 4 and 9 a.m. That seems weird to me as I thought the whole point of a sunrise alarm is that it works at all hours, and not just at the conventional times. While the Echo Show 5 may have a lot of clock features, it's still primarily a smart display. Its 5.5-inch screen has a 960 by 480 resolution, which isn't the greatest, but since the screen is so small, I found it acceptable. Images look colorful and bright, and I enjoyed watching videos on it despite the size. I do think it's a little too tiny for watching longer flicks like movies or TV shows, but it was fine for short news clips or music videos. As with other Alexa smart displays, the Echo Show 5 supports video from Amazon Prime and NBC. You can also watch YouTube videos via the built-in Silk or Firefox browsers, though it's not as integrated as the YouTube experience on Google smart displays. If you decide to use the Echo Show 5 in the kitchen or living room instead, there are also step-by-step -step cooking videos from sources like SideChef and All Recipes, plus how-to clips from WikiHow. Though you can use the Echo Show 5 as a digital photo frame, I found Google's Nest Hub to be a much better choice for displaying images. Not only is the screen bigger at 7 inches, it's also easier to use. With the Echo Show, I had to go through settings, home and clock, clock, personal photos, pick my preferred source of images, and then pick an album. With the Nest Hub, I can choose my Google Photos album with just a few taps in the app. What's more, Google's machine learning algorithms are smart enough to automatically compile albums of my favorite people and pets while leaving out embarrassing shots and duplicate photos. One of the more notable features of the Nest Hub was that it didn't have a camera. It made me a lot more comfortable having it on my nightstand. The Echo Show 5, on the other hand, still has a front-facing camera, which you can use for video calls. Unlike its predecessors, however, the Echo Show 5 does at least come with a physical camera shutter. This makes me feel a little better about having the Echo Show 5 in my bedroom, but not everyone will feel that way. After all, it's easy to forget to slide that toggle. It's just something you always have to be mindful of. Packed inside the Echo Show 5 is a 1-watt speaker, which I found to be surprisingly impressive for such a tiny thing. The bass is powerful, and the vocals are crisp and clear. There's an option of adding additional speakers via a 3.5mm audio jack or stereo Bluetooth, but I don't think you'll need it. The Echo Show 5 features a new Alexa smart display dashboard, which you reveal by swiping left from the far right of the screen. It has six shortcuts to frequently use skilled categories such as music, alarms, and smart home. The smart home shortcut is pretty handy as it brings up a list of all your connected smart devices like webcams and smart lights. The rest of the Echo Show 5's features are pretty much the same as previous Alexa products. I used Alexa to get the weather forecast, check the latest sports scores, add items to a shopping list, and schedule events in the calendar. Perhaps the best part about the Echo Show 5 is its price. While the 2018 Echo Show was $230 and the round Echo Spot was $130, the new Echo Show 5 is only $90, making it the cheapest of the three. It's also more affordable than the Google Nest Hub, which retails for $130. With its small form factor and various clock-centric features, the Echo Show 5 is essentially a combination Echo Show and Echo Spot. 
It's an Alexa Smart Display squeezed down to alarm clock size, but without sacrificing too much screen real estate that photos and videos can still be enjoyable. I tend to prefer the Nest Hub with its larger screen, smarter photos integration and the lack of camera, but I can definitely see the appeal of the Echo Show 5. If you're an Amazon fan who wants a smart display with solid alarm clock features, then the Echo Show 5 definitely fits the bill. As always, hit subscribe for more videos and check out Engadget.com for the latest in tech news and reviews.